Well, Toyota not only has to repair more than 8 million cars, but its badly damaged image. Advertising Age recently reported that Toyota is facing a multi-billion dollar hit to its image and reputation for quality. Abby Claussen is the executive editor at Advertising Age, and she joins us now from New York. And Abby, uh, great to have you with us. And, uh, you know, a multi-billion dollar hit. How much exactly are we talking about? We're talking about um, probably half of its uh, billion dollar ad budget just to get itself half of its half a billion dollar ad budget just to get itself back to where it was before this you know crisis occurred and you know obviously we've we've heard a lot about the lost sales and the production halt but they're going to have to spend uh, you know a major outlay on communications just to communicate that they're doing the right things and that they're valuing the right things going forward. And what would that come in the form of? I and mean, we're talking about advertising, for instance, but what else would they need to spend all that money on? Well, I think, you know, you, you, you talk a little bit about advertising, but there's a huge kind of customer service and public relations push that they're going to have to invest in. Um, you know, they're going to have to make sure that their executives are out there talking to the right people and, and that the right executives are out there. And, um, you know, we've seen a little bit of, of Jim Lentz getting out there and talking on, on, you know, some talk shows and they've done some social media outreach. But I think you're going to have to see some investment from, uh, from Japan. People want to hear from uh, the folks who are really in charge at Toyota. We heard that uh, down. We heard that they were probably going to do something with their warranty, uh, perhaps extend the warranty for uh, to up to ten years. Something like what Hyundai did when it was having a quality problem a couple years ago. Do you think that this would help, and would a lot of the advertising be spent to sort of publicize this new warranty if that's what happens? Well, they have to get back to what their product was always known for. I mean, we talk a lot about product as marketing. Product is your best marketing tool, actually. And you have to do something to get people to trust your product again. And I think that actually this, you know, if, if they were to launch a Hyundai-style program, a warranty program like, like what Hyundai launched, um, that could be huge for them. I and mean, we named Hyundai our marketer of the year last year because of the, the assurance program that they introduced. I mean, that was that instrumental in their business. I think, you know, Toyota should look at a similar program. I think that would be really important for them right now. Um, and and it's just about it's about getting your customers to trust you again and whatever it takes whether it be a warranty program whether it be you know putting a more humanizing face on your communications messaging and um, think that's right. what they need to focus on well, I think it would be Toyota, perhaps, that kind of wrote the book on crisis management in the 1980s. I mean, is there something that a Toyota could take a page out of that in order to deal with this crisis? Tylenol was the poster child in uh, 1982 when it was dealing with its tainted product on shelves in Chicago. And, you know, the thing that to uh, Tylenol did that Toyota didn't really do was react immediately. Tylenol reacted very quickly. They, um, you know, came out, they were incredibly honest about what happened, uh, their CEO and chairman at the time, Jim, James Burke, you know, he went out, he, he launched into a series of interviews and TV spots explaining to people what had happened. You know, they, they bought a bunch of newspaper advertising, um, they did a huge PR outreach. You know, by contrast, Toyota was actually a little bit quiet for the first week, week and a half of this crisis. So they actually right. have perhaps more of an uphill battle than Tylenol did to come out of it. Right. That seemed yeah, that seemed to be the misstep at the beginning of this. Okay, Abby, uh, we'll have to leave it there, but thank you so much for joining us. Abby Klassen, uh, executive editor at Ad Age.